I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to the first part of building the 1144 scale Millennium Falcon from Bandai. Uh, this is the Force Awakens version, so it's got the square aerial on it, but uh, I'm not worried about that, I'm going to build it as is. Now, the first thing is, uh, this is a kit that's come from Japan and is Japanese. Funnily enough, uh, it's the 2015 version, in case anyone was worried. Uh, now, the problem is, I don't read or speak Japanese. So, all the instructions obviously have nice pictures and the, the numbers are all in uh, Arabic numbers, so they're nice and easy to read. But the little bits that tell you bits and interesting, important things are all in Japanese. So. I have the very useful um, iPad app, the uh, Google Translate, which has a nice function, if I can move the camera back just a touch, uh, which actually uses the camera to scan in real time the pictures, and it actually translates it on the fly. Uh, so. It isn't perfect, and it does sometimes translate some things that aren't actually text. But it gives you a very good idea of what's what. I say rear engine there popping up. Uh, and it appears that this piece is the following locations are incorporating emissions. Uh, basically, I think it translates as meaning if you're putting the lighting kit on it, this is where they're going to go. So there's lights on the engines, the uh, inside the bay, and the cockpit. And things like this one here says, if I can get the camera in the right place and show you what it says as well. Where are we? Camera's there. If emissions, the cockpit of. So basically, put that bit on if you're if you're lighting it. The LED sort of fits into there. Uh, so, I'm going to be going through the instructions, not live on camera, using the app. Uh, basically, let's see this now the little box that looks important, it probably is. And basically, it says align the text, it's not reading it. There we go. I just saw it flash up about in order of. So, sometimes the lighting changes and the, the video picks it up or doesn't. You can actually take pictures of it with the app. Oh, there we go in order assembled. So basically do one and then two. Don't get them in the wrong order. Uh, so I'm going to be starting this kit after having a scan through and making sure I understand the important bits in the instructions. Uh, obviously it's bigger than a, a one video kit. So move the camera back down again for you. Uh, I'll start and see how far I get. Uh, it starts with the cockpit uh, which again needs to be painted as well. The back wall is one piece that I did on my unboxing video, which you may or may not have seen. Uh, doesn't have any decals for that, as far as, as far as I can tell, and again, doesn't mention anything on here. And you've of course got the choice of people to put into the cockpit as well, which will need painting as well. So uh, the cockpit has lots of nice little details on it, and not much to do. So I'm going to get that primed and painted up, do some detail work on the cockpit. Uh, as with most of my videos, I'm not going to show you absolutely everything because that will be hours and hours of sitting there watching. But I will give you updates as to what I've done and how I'm doing it and what I'm doing. Uh, it looks like you can choose either Windows or not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So I'll get the first few bits uh, found on the sprue, cut off, and ready to go. and show you what I've got when I've got it. See you soon. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, right. While you're all gone as well as cutting all the pieces off the sprue, I've made a couple of decisions. I've gone with the enclosed, the open uh, cockpit without the glass, just the open windscreen so you can see inside and see what's what. Uh, most of the stuff I've done has been closed in with glass, but I thought if I'm doing an interior, I might as well do an interior and actually show what, what it is. Uh, and I've gone old school. I've decided to go with Han and Chewy, which you probably can't make out Han there, but Chewy is the big one. Uh, just because you know it's my era of films, the old ones rather than the the new ones. Nothing wrong with them; they're very good, but they're still. I'd rather go traditional. Uh, so we've got the back wall, which I say needs a lot of detail painting on that. 
but I won't be painting everything obviously but making it look nice uh, basically when it goes together that goes on there they sit in the chairs uh, that goes on to the inside bit there let's take him out of the chair for now won't snap in completely because it's not fully put together because I need to paint it apart uh, the underside goes on there I think it's that way around it must be that way around yeah just because it's not together that it's not actually going together uh, so that goes on there the big bit goes over the back and then the cockpit will go over the front so it already gives a good idea as to the, the scale of the, the piece it's quite quite small but quite big it's got lots of details on it which are nice nicer than the the tinier versions which I've done previously so uh, yeah I'll get these bits primed up now the actual the fully full body the outside uh, I'll be doing with a, a spray can of uh, you, insignia white which is pretty much falcon color default falcon color now I'm not sure so with an open cockpit masking and painting that is going to be tricky so I'll do that before it goes together finally so I might not paint the, the insignia white on this until it's all mostly together you know, and do it all in one hit rather than painting little bits and having problems with it matching up but I shall be doing the interior now so I'll get these bits to the side for now I'll get the people, the back and the seats painted up or primed and then painted up and I'll show you that as I go so see you soon right that's everything primed in the, the matte black it's come out very nicely uh, so those bits I'm going to put aside and not do anything with for a bit the bits I need to work on are the seats the control panel the back wall and of course the people uh, so I'm going to get set up to do some brush painting on these uh, now the the hand and chewy I've obviously got my practice pieces that I did before that hopefully are coming out moderately well uh, so I know I can do those quite well even if I do say so myself <coughs> uh, and so the back wall I've got some reference pictures that I'm going to go off of but basically it's going to be putting in the, the base colour the door frame and then uh, getting everything sort of shiny and flashy lights but without the lights or the flashy uh, so I'm going to set up for some brush painting on this now unfortunately I can't really get the camera close enough to show any painting on these but I'll give you some updates as I go through so I'll uh, see you in a moment okay that's the painting done i haven't really done any weathering on this i'm going to get it assembled and then weather it a little bit uh, but i've done say basically some detail work i've put in some highlights on the panels a few different colors that didn't really come out very well on the black but they're still sort of there obviously the door frame i've left the door black because it's going to be in shadow so that's that uh, i've done the the front seats in the traditional color put some detail on the back seats and the central console as well just put some chrome and some lights on there none of this is really going to be that visible anyway and of course Han and Chewie have been painted up look like old Han and old Chewie uh, so uh, basically going to be putting these together now the kit and say being a Bandai kit most of it is going to snap together there won't be much need for glue on any of it basically with that back wall in place there uh, that then goes into this bottom set there you go uh, what I didn't mention was again I planned some detail painting on the inside and the top of that because where that goes is actually over the front pretty much if I've got that in right seems to be although it's leaning forward what's that leaning forward maybe that 
go to this side of that. There you go. I was trying to push it too far backwards. That's better. Let's have that like that. And then that goes in there. Like that. Unless you get a light in there, you're not really going to be able to see any of that detail anyway. Uh, now, the people obviously don't have any pegs or anything, so they will need to be glued in place. Uh, so, traditionally, and obviously sits on this side. other side yeah uh, might use tweezers to get some of these bits in but the trouble is tweezers don't give you the same level as controllers fingers so you're much more likely to have things go pinging all right there we go that's them there uh, now that piece She goes into the, the little tongue in the middle there, goes into that centre piece so it actually fits in backwards. So that goes in like that. Then you get the central thing, which I painted that but didn't need to because that's actually what holds this in place. So that is that, and then obviously that, uh, all those two in the back here locate into there. So when it's assembled, it's going to look like that, and as I say, unless you get a light in there just right, you're not going to be able to see very much in there, probably nothing on the top at all actually. but. You can see the people and see hand and chewy in there, so I'm happy with that. But the top piece of that I'm going to need to paint separately. So I'm not going to push that fully home. Because I can't mask the inside. Although I might be able to... I think when I paint it I will actually mask up the inside of that. And then obviously I can paint the entire outside and then take it apart again and remove the masking probably going to be easier way of doing than any of that so let me actually do that now and that will stop dust and dirt getting into the cockpit there as well so let's see how that's going to work basically just need to get pretty much like that although I need to neaten it up a lot obviously so I'll be doing that cutting away the excess then mounting that on the inside. So I'll make sure I hand and chew it glued in properly first. Then I can get that put together. Let's get him sitting straight while that extra thing is still slightly damp. Yeah, so that's the new plan. Get that assembled there so masked on the inside so I can actually paint the outside all in one the entire pretty much all of the falcon uh, so that's the cockpit assembly the cockpit tube and that's pretty much how I'm going to leave this video at the moment actually a very short one just to get this start, um, project started and underway sorry I couldn't show you much of the or any really of the brush painting but I haven't found a way of being able to get the camera and me in close enough to see what I'm doing I'll I'll work on it, I'm still working on it and trying to figure out a way of doing it, but I uh, hope that's say, piqued your interest of the, the kit as a whole. The next bit, I've got the instructions somewhere, uh, are going to be some of the, the mandibles, the, the front 
front of the falcon which is an interesting way of doing it because it means you can't you're going to end up with separate bits <laughs> until you get the disc the dish section ready but uh yeah the mandrels then the then the body whether i do them all as one kit or separately depends how long each bit takes really but uh yeah as ever thanks for watching uh hope you're you know subscribing to the channel and following for for more uh, there'll be some more coming along soon i think i'll do another bit of this before i go back and do my other projects that i've got on the go so there'll be some more of this soon and uh i hope you're having fun enjoy yourselves and see you soon thank you bye